Can't break up on the wall. Ooh, running nice on that wall. So. What's up, everybody, and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. If my audio is a little bit weird, it's because I'm using the Oculus Rift microphone. We're standing here in beautiful New Jersey here at English Town, one of my not-so-local local tracks. So we're here today to see two major things. Can I drift in VR? Hey, what's up, dude? And will I get sick? Before we do that, let's take a look at the car we're going to be running today. I have a headless driver. Very creepy. Rocking IS 300 today. It's got some works wheels back there too, front and rear. If this car looks familiar, a lot of you guys may know it. It's from the Clutch Gang's uh, car pack, but didn't have works wheels on it. Definitely changed those up a little bit, as well as we did a manual swap in there. If you didn't notice, and you do have the Clutch Kings, it's an automatic car. But now we did a little uh, manual swap in this car, so we're going to take this car for a rip here at English Town and uh, see if we can get sideways here in VR and you know, well, it's kind of cool to be able to take a look at this car and, you know, see it in all its glory before we get going. So let's get in the car and uh, send this thing for a rip and see if we don't get sick and if we can drift in VR. All right, so we are inside here. And if you uh, got that 2J going, taking a look at inside, like I said, we got a little bit of a modified, if you notice, it's still got the Prindle mark back there, but we did modify it to a manual with the bride seats. No cage. We die like real men in this car. So we're going to get my little yellow dot out of the way. And we're going to send it here at English Town. First VRs drifting. Turn our lights on. Let's try not to hit that dude. So the first thing I noticed when I got into VR, I've drifted VR before, but, you know, the movement and the not anticipating, it, it kind of gets to you. And... You get that VR sickness, but once you start moving around and drifting and moving like you would in a normal car, it kind of goes away. So we are at the 2018 track day layout here at English Town. Send it in there. There we go. But I definitely love the fact that I can just look where I want to with the headset, where I would naturally look. We're gonna hit the grass. Little dirt drop, we good though. And just see where I wanna go and point where I kinda wanna go. The immersion is so much better here in VR with the Oculus Rift S. This IS300 is killing it. I'm trying to remember which way this track goes. Oh, it goes short this way. Oh, we just took out all those cones, sorry. To the track marshals. We're good though. Probably should have adjusted my seating position to get a little bit higher in the car. But we're good. A little bit of hesitation there, but we got it. The fact that I can look on my mirrors and everything is just plain awesome. Don't hit that wall. Woo! We run in the wall here at English Town. So first lap here. Definitely uh Definitely fun, definitely getting the sauce in VR. And it's so cool to see everything when you're looking around. We're gonna try a hard entry. Too early, I think. Maybe not. We good? Oh, we good? I'm definitely falling in love with this Oculus Rift S and drifting here in a set of Corsa with VR. There we go. Look a little bit out the window towards the side me. Are we good? Oh! So hopefully the microphone in this Rift S is good. Otherwise I will have to uh, find a way to use my snowball without losing some audio when I'm rotating around inside the cars. We're just banging this too, Jay. Here we go. Ooh. Do 
too much. Saved it. Can't break up on the wall. Ooh, running nice on that wall. So amazing. Like I said, to be able to look around and just have the full field of view. Let that car cool down a smidge. But like to take a look and just be able to look around and, you know, see every little detail of the cars and everything is going to be so much nicer. Look at that dashboard. Oh, we're going through the steering wheel. Like I said, manual swap with a little handbrake and stuff, but it's kind of where my handbrake is, but it doesn't pull. If I can get the animations, I'm definitely going to get the handbrakes and stuff to move. How much boost are we running? 0.5 bar. Our water temp is completely dead. So we're going to send it a little bit more. Oh, uh, maybe not. We just blew this car up. I, I I think I think we I don't know I think we oh I think we may have blown up our uh, Lexus here. So we're gonna have to get another car. See if somebody can uh, give us another car so we can rip a little more here at English Town. All right, so we did find somebody else to let us borrow their car. We got a S13 left-hand drive or right-hand drive. What are those? That's a little... Oh, dude smokes. Lucky Stripes. I think those are Lucky Stripes. Yeah, Lucky Stripes, dude smokes. All right, well, we got a S13 with a harness bar, some uh, speakers back there, some Recaro seats. We're going to... We're going to send it, turn our lights on. This guy was uh, nice enough to let me borrow his car. So we're going to go uh, see if left-hand drive really messes with us. Or right-hand drive, sorry. Let's see if we can not blow up this dude's car. Do you like that boost gauge right there? It's kind of cool to see that stuff here. There we go. Oh, I like this car. I like how this thing drives right now. This guy's got it dialed. There we go. So drifting in VR. Am I getting sick? Not at all. Do I feel a little woozy? Eh, not really. Like I said, I've done VR here on a center before. So it's nothing super new to me. But I've only played for a little bit, but that was on the old Rift. So the new Rift S with all the cameras and no sensor bars is definitely much more amazing. Ooh! Whew! So right-hand drive cars are definitely a little different for me because I catch myself wanting to reach over to the other side to shift when I know everything's on this side as if it were a left-hand drive car. So my mindset has to be very well aware of where my wheel setup stuff is, especially when you're in VR because you can't see anything. So having a setup where I know where everything is, is definitely, oh, grass cut, sorry, is definitely the best thing. And to answer the first question I asked when we first got in this car, or when we got in the Lexus, can we drift in VR? Oh yeah, we can drift in VR. Are we gonna get sick? Nah. Extended periods, maybe. Multiple cars on the track is next with tandems what up dude tandems which could cause some uh, bit of nausea but moving around and moving forward and moving how i would naturally move in a car doing you know said drift and skid things is making it not as nauseating we're gonna tap the wall oh just a tap so I hope you guys enjoyed this first look here at 
my new Oculus Rift S on a set of Corsa. You guys are going to be seeing a lot more of the Oculus content on the channel. Definitely here on a set. We're going to try for hard entry. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, slow it down, slow it down. We got it. We saved it. Grass, but we good. You guys are seeing a lot more of this Oculus Rift S. Like I said, if the microphone seems a little weird, it is because I'm using the microphone that is part of the Halo headset system on the Rift S. So we'll see how it works. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. Make sure you follow me on all social media. And as always, I'll see you guys on the track.